Today, we're doing a Dragons vs. Catnap mob battle. But we're going to be secretly cheating using this one-way glass so that we can see exactly what type of dragon Gracie spawns on that side. There's absolutely no way we can lose. Puppy playtime is way stronger than dragon. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, Gracie, are you ready to do this mob battle? Oh, yeah, you bet. And remember, whoever wins the most rounds out of five gets a 500 American. American dollar prize! Well, obviously, if I'm using dragons, then I'm gonna start with this fire dragon first! Whoa, Sophie, look at that fire dragon! Fire dragons can spit fire everywhere! Yeah, but it's super basic. We can totally find something to beat it. Yeah, that's a good idea. But not only am I using fire dragons, I'm gonna use ice dragons! Oh, Sophie, she's also using ice dragons! Look! I guess they don't like each other. That makes sense, though. That ice dragon totally destroyed that fire dragon. Who knew the ice dragons could be so powerful? If the ice dragon doesn't work, I also have a lightning dragon! Lightning dragons? Those look completely different. They're purple and brown. What are they gonna do? Wait, huh? are they spitting lightning? Oh, my goodness, they destroyed the wall! We need to put it back! Put it back! Can you believe it? Those lightning dragons are spitting lightning at those ice dragons. The ice dragon obviously won the fight. He's the only one that's still alive. Meanwhile, all these other ones are dead. So I'm going to use the ice dragon. Look how big these ice ones are. And wait, that one's a different color. Oh, wow, Sophie. We are totally in trouble here. Those dragons look super duper scary. But we had to prove to Gracie that Poppy Playtime is more powerful. So we're spawning in Catnap Sister. Oh, wait, Jamesy, why are we using Catnap's sister and not just Catnap himself? Because I heard in the comments down below of the last video that girls are more powerful than boys. Can you believe it, Sophie? Yeah, I can believe it. I totally disagree. And you guys should comment down below, boys, if you think boys are better. But if you do think girls are better, then comment girls in the comments down below. I bet there's going to be way more boys than girls. No way, there's going to be way more girls than boys. Well, we spawn in an absolute ton of cat. Catnap sister in this mob battle, so hopefully we can win. Gracie's side, though, she has loads of those ice dragons. Can you believe it? And oh, wait a second. Is she building something? I'm building an ice monument, which is gonna help power up all of my dragons. Let me just put a beacon right here. Whoa, Sophie, she's building an ice beacon. That's crazy. We need to go to her side and troll her a little bit to make her army weaker. Absolutely. We can't allow her to cheat like this. How about we go over there and we set her ice dragons on fire? Melt them! I think we should go invisible like this. And that way, we can make them start to melt. So, come over here, Sophie. I'm going to block this off like that. And then all we need to do is get some flint and steels. So then we can melt these ice dragons. Oh, yeah. It's going to become a pool party in here. Oh, no. The dragons are starting to catch on fire. What's going on? Oh, no. And also, my monument, it's melting. What happened? Her monument is literally melting. And her dragons are burning to death. This is perfect. Her army is being dismantled. Oh, yeah. Man, I wonder who is setting everything on fire. It's totally not us. All right, let's go back to our side before she knows that it's us. If she realizes that we're cheating, she might ban us from the game. Come on. Okay, I'm going through. And while she's distracted trying to fix that problem, we can spawn in even more catnap sisters. And these catnap sisters are super OP because cats are dangerous. They have really sharp claws. They're basically mini dragons. Oh, yeah. You think their claws are sharp enough to pierce through the dragon scales? I really hope so. But unfortunately, catnap sister doesn't have a special ability like the dragons. She can't spit fire. The only thing that she can spit is fur balls. All right, so we're in the last few minutes of this round. Let's spawn a few more catnap sister, and then hopefully we can win. One eternity later. Alright, Gracie, are you ready to fight? I'm ready to win! Alright, well, let's start this round in three, two, one, go! You guys did Poppy Playtime? I think you're killing our Poppy Playtime mobs so fast. They're all disappearing. My dragons are so strong. I mean, look how big they are. Whoa, this is really crazy. It looks like the ice is slowing down yeah, not only that, it's also giving them weakness. Oh, no. This is not good. Do you guys even see any more catnap sisters? They're all gone. They've been eaten. 
Amanda. I don't know. I see some catnap sisters. There's just not that many. Freeze them, dragons. Freeze them. Has any of the dragons even died yet? Come on. There's so many wings. It's hard to see catnap sister. How are they getting out of the arena? That's not fair. I just saw a dragon put a catnap sister in its mouth. Yeah, that's what the dragons do. They chomp <laughs> down with their big teeth. Gamesy, what's your favorite dragon? My favorite dragon is the electricity dragon. It's so cool. I just wish it was orange and not purple. Jamesy, good luck. Lightning will never be orange. Guys, there's still a few catnap sisters, but they're just completely frozen. They're being killed by spikes as well. Wait, 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 wait. I think I see a few dragons have died. Oh, yeah. There's a dragon skeleton over here. Oh, no. And there's a dead one here, too. This poor baby. He's been killed. Look, they're using a new strategy. They're flying in the sky and shooting down ice beams. That way, they can't be reached. Look, this one escaped the mob battle arena and is shooting out Whoa. ice blocks at them. Whoa, they're using their flying skills to their advantage. I mean, what can the catnap sisters even do? But look, it's not all bad. There's a dead ice dragon there. There's a dead ice dragon there. The ice dragons are slowly starting to die. It's perfect if you think about it. Jamesy, look over here. Wait, where are Gracie? I don't see you. Are you where are you? Behind you! Oh, I see you. What's going on over here? There's a tombstone? Buried little Timmy. He was my favorite dragon. No! Oh, Gracie, you should never name the mobs in a mob battle. Yeah, because they all die. And now we can see how many dragons are alive. Wait, I think the catnap sisters are starting to slowly die. Oh, no. Gracie just teleported them all to the middle. But they're all froze. Hang on. That's not fair. Well, it's because some of them escaped the arena. I had to let them back in. Come on. They're all together. That means they can do more combo damage to the dragons. This actually could be a good thing for us, Sophie. But I think the catnap sisters are starting to die. No, oh, come on, catnap sisters. Sister, you can do it. Power is in the numbers. I don't know who's winning this battle. I really hope it's the catnap sisters. But they're all gone. Wait, the dragons are dying too, though. Like, there's a big one. Oh, my goodness. The dragons are running away from her. They're scared of her. Look at them. But, look, she can't even go towards them because the spikes are pushing her back. Oh, there's no way she dies to some puny spikes. Come on. No, she died. <laughs> Fine, Gracie, you won this round, but don't worry. Next round, we're going to bring the heat. We lost the first round, but it's not over yet. If we keep trying, we can win the money easy peasy. Using this one-way glass, let's see what Gracie's going to spawn in this round. This is a mythical Valor Dragon! That's totally weird. It has a shield. It has some sort of sword. And it's absolutely humongous. Is that even really a dragon? It looks so goofy. I mean, we don't really make the rules, Sophie. She can play whatever she wants. She just wants to do dragons today. So we have to use a Poppy Playtime mob to defeat this massive Valor dragon. And you know what? I've already selected what I think we should do. Really? Who? We should do Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy. Huggy is goofier than these dragons. He'll win for sure. Yeah, these Valor dragons are like massive. The biggest monster in all of Poppy Playtime is Huggy Wuggy. He's so tall. Look how tall he is compared to me. Oh, yeah. He's like, like eight feet tall. Twice your height. I'm like 14 foot myself, so he's huge. 14? You are not 14 feet, Jamesy. Stop lying. Oh, but look at that shield that the Valor Knight does. It does look really cool. What if Huggy Wuggy can't even defeat him? Don't don't worry, Jamesy. That shield's too small for the Valor Dragons. Huggy Wuggy can easily get past. But wait, what is Gracie doing? Ah, I already know I'm gonna win. I'm gonna make sure that I win 100% by creating a crown for me. Now that they know that I'm the queen, they're gonna do anything to protect me. Do you know what Valor means, Sophie? Oh, uh, doesn't it mean something like really brave? It means that you're not scared of battle. First, I want to spawn in a bunch more Huggy Wuggies because one Huggy Wuggy is not going to kill an army of dragons. We need an army of Huggy Wuggies. Now we have to stop these Valor Knights. Now, what is the best way to stop them? We have to give them some distraction. What can distract a dragon knight from his duty? Well, Sophie, it's quite simple. We just have to give him something else. So over here, I'm putting down a little hole. And then I'm going to put a dispenser right here. And, boop, and inside of this dispenser, I'm going to put some some villager spawn eggs. Dragons love burning down villages of villagers. Exactly.
exactly. They have a personal vendetta against them. So let me just activate this right here like that. And then put some more villagers in there like this. And there we go. You can see that a bunch of villagers are being spawned. No! And when the time is right for battle, those dragons are going to go after the villagers instead. Right now, they're on peaceful mode. So they're just chilling. And that's perfect, Sophie. So let's go back to our site and spawn in way more huggy wuggies. A few moments later. All right, Gracie, are you ready to battle? Wait, why are there villagers over here? Oh, don't worry about that. That's sure it's fine. Let's start this battle in three, two, one, go! Okay, there goes the Huggy Wuggies. Whoa, your Vata Dragons are so big, Gracie. This is crazy. Why are there so many Huggy Wuggies? There are so many Huggy Wuggies because we need to win the money. Well, my Vata Dragons are going to kill all of your Huggy Wuggies. They have these massive swords, Gracie. They're so big. I know, and they're ginormous, and they have a big, long neck, just like a giraffe or you, Jamesy. We totally have the number advantage. We have way more Huggy Wuggies. Wuggies and she has Valor and Knights. I mean, Dragon, same thing. Wait, Gracie, what's this pink box over here? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's my house. You don't need to go inside. Wait a second. I think we're starting to kill some of your guys, Gracie. Look, over here. Impossible. No, no, no. They can't be losing. We have evidence that some of the dragons have died, which means we're in the lead, Sophie. Woohoo! But it's not over yet. I've lost rounds before that I thought I was 100% going to win. It's because the Huggy Wuggies don't drop anything when they die. It's not fair. That's true. We've probably had just as many Huggy Wuggies die that we just don't know about. Wait, this dragon is cornered. No, come on, dragon. Come on. You can kill all these Huggy Wuggies. I know you can. They always have a lot of HP until they don't. And then they all start dying at the same time. So we just have to wait and see who it's going to be. The tension is rising. Come on, please. I want to win this one. That means I'll have two points instead of one. I don't know, Gracie. I think your Valor Knights are starting to die now. I just have the feeling. I don't know why. Wait, yes. What just died over here? Why are the villagers dropping from up here? When did this happen? Looks like your kingdom's expanding, Gracie. There's no way that we can lose now, Sophie, because look, we have the simple number advantage. I mean, she'd have to kill all of our Huggy Wuggies. Sorry, Gracie, but that's the end for you. The score is now 1-1. One, one. On to the next round. That was so easy, Sophie. But wait, where is Gracie? She's in her secret pink house. I think we should investigate that. That's so sus. Yeah, something's fishy about that. So let's go invisible and check out her secret bunker. Guys, what do we think it's going to be? Jamesy and Sophie beat me. Is he cheating on me? Let's go down here and... Wait a second. Sophie, how does she get down there? It's just a normal room. No, there has to be a way down. Check for trap doors. Trap doors, but we would see it. Wait a second. Was that a secret trap door? And she has security cameras. She could see us the whole time. Where are they? Where are they? Are they not in their sides? Oh, no. I better get out of here before they see what's going on. Oh, no, Sophie. I want to read all these signs, but we just don't have time. We'll come back later on and read the signs. We have to get back to our side right now. Meanwhile. James A. Sophie, where are you guys? I know you guys are. We're here, crazy, but you should leave immediately. We don't want you on our side. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Oh, that was close, Sophie. She almost saw that we had one-way glass. Let's see what Gracie's gonna spawn in. Time to spawn in Sophie because she's a snake. <laughs> Wait, is that a Hydra? Well, at least she thinks I'm cool. This is the strongest dragon ever. It's a dragon with three heads called a Hydra. But wait, Sophie, uh, can we even kill these? I thought that Hydras, when they lose one head, it grows another two back. I just do have one weakness, and it's fire. Really? Is that true? Yeah. If you use fire on a Hydra, the head won't grow back. I've got a genius idea, Sophie. We are going to use Mr. Light. But wait, Jamesy, I don't know if Mr. Light is as powerful as a Hydra. Yeah, maybe not, Sophie, but I have a trick up my sleeve. Come on. How are we placing our ton of... Mr. Lights. Okay. That is a good amount. Now I'm going to get myself a netherite sword like this. Super powerful weapon. I'm going to get myself an anvil. I'm going to place it down. And finally, I'm going to get myself fire aspect two book and combine it with a sword to get a fire aspect sword. Look, then we, if we hit them, they set on fire. So are we going to give the swords to the Mr. Lights? 
Yes, that's exactly right, Mr. Light is a pyromaniac. She loves fire. So if we can give her the weapon, she'll attack the dragons and they'll die. But there is a way to give her the weapon. If we get ourselves an armor editor, we can then make a million clones of this sword. Here you go, Sophie. Uh, you have a few. There we go. Okay. And then with the armor editor, you just go up to one of them and you give them the fire aspect sword. And now they can do fire aspect damage. And we just have to give every single Mr. Mr. Light, a fire aspect sword, and they all have it secretly equipped, even if you can't see it. Whoa, this is perfect, Jamesy. We're turning the Mr. Lights into dragon slayers. Yep, and the best part is, Gracie will have no idea because the swords are invisible. It's a secret way to cheat and win the mob battle. It's perfect. There's no way we can lose like this. Yep, so, Sophie, what's your plans for the weekend? Oh, you know, go to the plushy convention, um, maybe hang out a little bit with Louie if he's free. You talk totally have a crush on Louie, don't you? Don't! We're just friends! Just friends who spend all of their time together? Yeah, because it's funny to watch Louie do stupid stuff! Guys, do you have any friends that you spend a lot of time with and they're girls? I don't know. Alright, Sophie, I've given most of the Mr. Light's weapons now. Isn't this so OP? Oh, yeah! I can't wait to see the shock on Gracie's face when she sees the Mr. Lights taking down the Hydras! Yep, have you given a lot of weapons to Mr. Lights? Yup! But I'm still gonna go around and give them some more if I can. Yep, most of the ones I click on now actually already have the weapon, so I can't give it to any more. Meanwhile... I can't believe it! Jamesy asked Sophie what she's doing this weekend! <gasps> wait a second! Sophie! Sophie Gracie's in her bunker! She was listening to our conversation on her camera! What? Why would she do that? Look, this round, we'll just leave it. But next round, we're gonna go down there and read those signs to see what they say. It's probably something very important. Probably. I'm so curious. What did she write? Gracie, are you ready to battle? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to beat you. All right. Well, we're spawning in our last few mobs and we'll start in a second. I also know that Jamesy and Subway would probably try to use fire to combat my hydras. So I created a machine that shoots water out at them so I can defuse all the flames. Oh. All right, guys, let's start the battle in three, two, one, fight! What are your hydras doing? They're totally killing our Mr. Lights. Wait, the fire just got rid of this hydra's two heads. It only has one right now. Sophie, how did you know that fire combats the hydra? Oh, I love reading Greek mythology. And also, Louis makes me listen to him talk about it all the time. Guys, you see how some of the hydras have one head? But this one over here has like 12. That's because this guy isn't on fire, which means, unluckily, all these Mr. Lights here don't have the fire swords on them. Why is that? Well, maybe it's because we spawned a bunch in afterwards, too. But I don't know who's winning because if this guy can survive and kill all the ones without the fire swords, then we're gonna lose. But as long as all the fire sword Mr. Lights stay alive, we're totally gonna win! Come on, I just you have to kill the one with fire swords. Kill those ones! Oh no, the big one is on fire! Yeah, get it, Mr. Light! Oh no, he's losing his head! I just saw him lose his heads. We're gonna kill him, Sophie. He's down to two heads. Come on. This was supposed to be my strongest dragon yet. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we kill him. That was so easy, Gracie. It's all your fault, Sophie. No, why are you so smart? Well, the score is now 2-1, Gracie. If we can win the next round, then me and Sophie win. No, I'm gonna make sure to win that money prize. Let's see what Gracie's gonna spawn through our one-way glass. It's time for me to win, and I'm gonna use a Mega Dragon! Whoa, those are like the dragons she used earlier, but they might even be more powerful, Sophie, because they are all the same size. There are no baby ones. So I decided to use Chrissy Pitty! Whoa, she's totally pretty and pink. Maybe Gracie won't even want to fight her. Yeah, I don't know, though. Is Kissy Missy more powerful than Huggy Wuggy? Well, 
girl. She is a girl, and I believe in girl power, so she must be. Mm, whatever. Well, Kissy Missy looks very similar to Huggy Wuggy, except she's pink. And everyone knows girls are a little bit more scary than boys as well. Look at that smile. Oh, yeah. If Chrissy has any guy dragons on that side, I think they're totally going to lose. Right, so before we start spawning in more, we should sneak onto Gracie's side and see what those signs said. Quickly, let's get invisible. There we go. Let's sneak onto Gracie's side. Come on. All right. We just have to hope that Gracie stays up here so that we can get a good view. Let's see what these signs say. All right. Jamesy asked Sophie what she is doing this weekend. Oh, no. Gracie thinks I'm cheating on her. What? Why would she think that? And look at this one. Jamesy is in love with another girl. His mom? Well, of course you love your mom. I love my mom because she's my mommy. But she didn't even spell diary right. Why did she spell it like this? And look at these cameras. She's stalking on us. You know what, Sophie? Let's just not do anything. We just have to beat her in the mob battle, okay? Okay. Let's go back up to our side. But first, we're blowing up this little diary thing down here. Are you TNT? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Oh, no. And you'll have no idea it's blown up. All right, Sophie, perfect. Now it's time to spawn in more kissy missies. Spawn in as many kissy missies as you can. We need a whole army of them. All right. These dragons need lots of protein, so I'm going to spawn in a bunch of food for them to eat. Wait, Sophie, Gracie's spawning in her family. That's super mean. Oh, what? Gracie? Why not? She looks like a pig sometimes, especially when she wakes up in the morning. Oh my goodness. Maybe Gracie's diary was right. All right, guys, let's start this round. Three, two, one, go! Go, dragons! Go! Oh my goodness, who is gonna win? Wait, your dragons are so laggy. Are they even killing our kissy missies? Well, just wait till you see. They'll use the power of light to win. Wait, what are they doing? It's some sort of special ability. I can't tell what it is, though. They're spitting acid. Wait, they totally are. All of our kissy messies are taking damage. Look, they've all been hit with this green poison effect. Gracie, you poisoned all of our kissy messies. Ha ha ha. Get acided on. Wait, but how is our kissy missies even going to hit them? They're so high up. Exactly. And wait, our kissy missies are trying to kill the pigs. The pigs are acting as a distraction. Well, they can't kill the Naga dragons because they're so high up. And not to mention, these dragons are poisonous. Oh, no, Sophie. If we lose, the score is going to be 2-2. And then it all is going to come down to the final battle. Man, we can't have... Come on, kissy, 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 wissy, those naga nagas to kill them! I mean, kissy missy is tall, but obviously she's not tall enough! Look, that piggy wiggy just died. Oh no, that's a kissy missy down. This is an unfair fight! Kissy missy can't lie! Oh, come on. Dragons are way stronger than Poppy Playtime! I'm gonna get myself a dragon bone and shoot these dragons! Wait, Jamesy, I think this one's dead! Wait, we killed one! Maybe if I use the Naga's poison against itself, it'll die faster! Do anything by any means possible. Ignore the rules. We have to kill them! There's too many! Yes, the dragons are falling from the sky! They're all dying! <laughs> oh, this dragon's burning! No! There's so many dead dragons! There's no way you can win. Our kissy Macy's are destroying your dragons. No, they're gonna come back alive. He's just resting. Like, he'll be back up soon, right? Come on, he's still alive. Wake up! Naga dragon, wake up! Look, he's awake! Is there any kissy Macy's left? There's only one left, I think. Or two. Kill them with a minigun! I'm sorry, but you guys don't stand a chance. There's only one kissy Macy left, and she's about to die! Ha 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 ha! Dragons are supreme! She's dead. The score is now 2-2. And whoever wins this next round wins the money. Let's get started. One eternity later. Let's see what Gracie's gonna spawn in. Well, an iguana is a lizard. And a lizard is basically a dragon that's on the land. So let's spawn in this iguana king! I think they're not happy with each other. So that's good for us, at least. I think they're territorial. Wait, are these baby iguana kings? Yep, and that's their special move. They can even spawn in baby baby iguanas every once in a while. And look, they're basically just baby versions of the Iguana King. Oh my goodness. I just had an idea. Why don't we just bend the rules a little bit and do something that's not in Poppy Playtime, but is similar. Really? Like what? Like Freddy Weddy. Freddy Fazbear? 
Look at him. He's very similar to the Iguana King. He's an animatronic. They basically can't die. I don't know, so this is really bad. We'll just have to spawn in as many frass bears as we can and just start the round soon and hope we win. Yeah. All right, Gracie, are you ready? Yeah. Well, let's start this round in three, two, one, go. Who is winning? I can see the boss bars at the top and it seems that the iguanas aren't even taking any damage. Oh my goodness, it looks like they're healing. This is absolute chaos. I can't even tell who's winning. I think there's slightly more Freddy Fazbear's, but it looks like it's an even fight to be honest with you. Oh, there are a lot of Freddy Fazbear's and the Iguana Kings. A lot of them have died, but I see that the ones at the top all have four HP. Yeah, and they're spawning in a ton of babies as well. Oh, that's cheating. It's like spawning in mobs during the round. That's because I chose OP dragons instead of dumb poppy playtime mobs. Poppy playtime isn't dumb, Gracie. It's super cool. Come on, come on. They've got to start dying. Wait, I think they are. Look, 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 look. Some of the Iguana Kings are losing HP slowly on the boss bars. Can you see it, guys? Oh, it looks like the tides are turning. Somehow, Freddy Fazbear's getting a lead. Yes, I know. It's true. We just need to kill a few of them. Not all of them, just a few of them. There's like barely any Iguana Kings anymore. Oh, wait, you're right, Jamesy. It's mostly just the babies. Oh my goodness. There's barely any Freddies left. They're starting to die. Look at this. All I see is green and barely any brown. Oh, this is not looking good, Jamesy. But the good news is, Sophie, there's barely any Kings left. There's just little ones. Yeah, but there's so many babies, Jamesy. Do you really think Freddy can beat them all? And not to mention, it looks like your Freddy Fazbear's are dying to my little iguanas. Look, that one's about to die. Yes, another king just died. Come on. Freddy's, just target the kings and then go for the babies. You can do it. Well, the Freddy's are having new sense of direction. They're going after all of them. Look at them go. Wait, I think another iguana king is going to die. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if all my iguana kings die if you guys can't even kill my little baby iguanas. Come on, you think they can't kill the little baby ones if they can kill the kings? You've got to be foolish. But look how many baby ones there are. There's way more than there are kings. Wait, I think the baby iguanas are killing the iguana king. Look at them chase after him and hit him. They must have been the kids of an enemy iguana king that died. And now we just have to wait for the phrase to kill all the little baby ones. Look at them. They want to hit kill them. Did you kill all the ones that were chasing him, Gracie? Yeah, I did. I'm going to make it fair and square. It's not fair and square. You just killed the bees. He's dead. Wait, Sophie, is it me or is there not that many iguanas left? All right, all that's left are the babies, Jamesy. Uh, are the babies even attacking the Freddies? I don't know. I think they're kind of lost without parental guidance. Oh, no. What's happening to the Freddies? They're starting to die. Come on. We only have, what, five left? Nope, only four now. A few moments later. No! <gasps> Fine, you won, but I know that you're a crazy fangirl stalker because we went down here. What? No, you didn't. What happened to my room? My control room. I blew it up. If you guys enjoyed that video, then watch the next on your screen. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Bye.